I'm delighted to bring to stage Jay Tomlin, who's going to do a workspace demo for us and show us the user experience and the builder. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Um, to help you understand how this works, I want to switch over to the, the, the admin view. Uh, this is our Citrix Cloud control plane. How many of you are familiar with uh, Citrix Cloud already? Good. So this is the, where, where I would configure all of the applications for my, uh, my, my workspace tenant for things like single sign-on, content collaboration, virtual apps and desktops if you're using that. Um, to power this new experience, we will be introducing a new service in, in Citrix Cloud called the MicroApp service. So you see that tile here. I'll go and uh, begin by managing MicroApps. The MicroApp service allows you to add new integrations, either for the common SaaS apps that we will have turnkey integrations ready for, or you can add your own custom integration based on web services um, or, or other ways to um, inject your own custom application. Um, each integration can then have a set of micro apps. So you see I have Salesforce integrated here and there's a collection of, of micro apps that surface those atomic units of work and those, those workflows that uh, we want to show up in the workspace. Um, each micro app will include things like notifications or actions. So in ServiceNow there's a My Assignments micro app and there are a number of different notifications that are included in this. These are all based on changes. So when uh, the, the workspace micro app service synchronizes and detects a change that's happened in ServiceNow, it will fire a notification based on the rules and the conditions that you set here. Uh, I'll take a quick look at one of these just to give you a, a preview. So we can see after a data sync interval, if there's a new record, then notify the user. And here's where you actually configure the user experience. So I'm gonna um, edit the card, put the icon, exactly what I want it to say, um, <coughs> insert variables with uh, uh, mustache braces there so that the, the experience is tailored for the user. So those are notifications. The micro app can also include pages, which is what you would see on that blade that slides out when you click an action or when you click on a, um, a notification card, uh, you would see the contents of a page. And so I'm not gonna go deep into how to use the builder. Uh, the next session is up for that, but um, this is where it's all configured and what drives that user experience. Um, I've mentioned synchronizing. So for changes to surface in the, in the workspace experience, we do need to periodically synchronize with the systems of record. And this is a schedule that you can set on a per integration basis. Um, a full sync would bring down everything that you want to power your micro apps, and then there can be an incremental sync that occurs every once in a while after that. So I'll just do an incremental sync to pick up that recent change that I did for assigning the, uh, the problem to Paul. And what that should do is bring in the change from ServiceNow, trigger the notification, and add it to Paul's workspace. So I'll go refresh, give it a few seconds to flow through the system. Try one more time. I did click update, didn't I? Yep. Okay, so it may take a few more seconds for that to show up, but hopefully you get the sense that uh, this is how we're powering the experience. Um, workspace is one place for the user to consume that experience. We do want to be omni-channel, so we're we're gonna to continue to evolve this as a platform, not only for enabling you to add your own applications to integrate, but also enabling more types of user experience uh, inside and outside the Workspace app. Give it one more try just in case it's gonna work. Cross your fingers. Okay, something went wrong today. <laughs> but uh, uh, you'll, uh, you'll get a chance to uh, learn more about the builder and the Workspace um, over the course of Converge, and we really look forward to getting your feedback. Thank you.